Hey everyone and welcome to the Mark 10 mission. It's great to see you. If you've joined us before, you will know that we are the Mark 10 mission because in Mark's gospel, chapter 10, Jesus says, let the little children come to me. Each week we come together to spend time with Jesus. We listen to his voice in the gospel, speak with him in prayer and worship him with song. We can't wait to get started. And today we have a wonderful liturgy focusing on Saint Bernadette. We'll be sharing a little of her story and making an exciting announcement about her later on. First though, it's time for us to listen to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. The mother of Jesus was there and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited. When they ran out of wine, since the wine provided for the wedding was all finished, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said, Woman, why turn to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. There were six stone water jars standing there, meant for the ablutions that were customary among the Jews. Each could hold 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them to the brim. Draw some out now, he told them, and take it to the steward. They did this. The steward tasted the water and it had turned into wine. Having no idea where it came from, only the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said, People generally serve the best wine first and keep the cheaper sort till the guests have had plenty to drink. But you have kept the best wine till now. This was the first sign given by Jesus. It was given in Cana in Galilee. He let his glory be seen and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love the story of the wedding feast at Cana because it always reminds me of a very important truth, that Mary is the one who can lead me to Jesus. In the story, when they run out of wine, the people turn to Mary and she goes straight to Jesus. Since that day, nothing has changed. Mary leads people to Jesus every single day. And during her life, Saint Bernadette was someone who helped her to do this. Here's a little bit more about Saint Bernadette. She was born in 1844 in a little town in France called Lourdes. She came from a poor family and could barely read or write, but she had a gentle and kind heart. One cold February day, when Bernadette was 13, she traveled down to the riverside to collect firewood. There, at a place called the Grotto of Massabiel, she saw a beautiful lady dressed in white with a blue sash and yellow roses at her feet. In her hands, she held some rosary beads. It was Mary. Mary appeared to Bernadette in the grotto and spoke to her. Mary knew that Bernadette could be trusted and asked her to tell everyone about how much God loved them and to come and visit the grotto in a long line called a procession. Mary also asked that people light candles, build a church and wash in the water at the grotto. Since that time, millions of Catholics from all over the world have traveled on pilgrimage to Lourdes to see the grotto and follow Our Lady's instructions. 
It's a place where people can ask for Our Lady's help and grow closer to her son, Jesus. In that time, 70 miracles have happened at Lourdes. A miracle happens when a person is healed and nobody, not even doctors, can explain what has happened. Lourdes is a special place too because people go and ask Mary to pray for them. Recently, because of the pandemic, it's been hard for groups to visit Lourdes. But here is the exciting news. Lourdes is coming to us. The relics of St. Bernadette are travelling to England, Wales and Scotland. Her relics will be taken on a tour and visit a church or cathedral near you. Relics, hmm, what are they, you might be thinking? Well, after a saint dies, parts of their remains can be stored as relics. Praying near these relics can help us feel closer to God, to experience miracles ourselves, and ask the saint to pray especially for us, our families and friends. Here's an invitation. Why not plan a visit to the relics when they come to your diocese? It may be a once in a lifetime chance to pray alongside St. Bernadette. You can find everything you need to know about the tour at stbernadette.org.uk. St. Bernadette was brave, kind and honest. When she visited the grotto, she sat quietly before Mary and prayed. Mary is the perfect person for us to pray with too. And she is the one who can take us to her son, Jesus. Let us pray together now as we join our hands and close our eyes. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bernadette loved to sit peacefully in prayer. Lord Jesus, help us to rest in your beautiful presence now. Jesus, thank you for St. Bernadette and the message she heard from Our Lady at Lourdes. Thank you for the wonderful miracles you have worked there, healing the sick and showing your love to millions. We pray that the St. Bernadette tour brings healing to our land and reveals your perfect love to everyone who takes part. We ask for Our Lady's prayers too. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Are
Your Mark 10 mission today is to take a look at the St. Bernadette website and see when the relics are coming to your area. Then perhaps you can plan a visit with your class or family. We hope that you can be a part of the St. Bernadette Relic Tour this autumn and we'll see you again soon on the Mark 10 mission. Until then, goodbye and God bless.